eight. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody who Happy celebrates Easter. it. We have uh, our bunny ears on, especially. And Mike is eating a pancake mm. with chocolate. How come every video we've done so far I seem to be eating? Because you're a uh, fatty. Oh. <laughs> Someone did comment, can Mike just eat whatever he wants without getting fat? No. <laughs> Obviously, look at him. Look, mm. such a chubber. Um, are you gonna eat that? Well, I think. Mummy, talking about this my mouth. Such a bad but, I've got no makeup on. I just woke up. This doesn't look good. Well, I got someone. A Easter. really amazing present, which I'm very grateful for. It wasn't how she responded to me. She went, "Oh, don't think I really no, need one of those." It's because I just basically. Mike doesn't quite understand that at Easter you're meant to buy people chocolate or a small token. Yeah, I didn't want chocolate. So I you were a small token gift. But a small token gift is a large gift. That's because I'm just generally amazing. Mike bought me a new Kindle for Easter, which I think How is nice incredibly overboard. Yeah, that's incredibly nice. overboard for a start. Yeah, it's but you don't respond to me. You don't respond saying, oh, didn't really want one. Yeah, but you don't respond saying, oh, didn't really want one. No, I just bought. Well, I'm going to take a picture of this. You don't respond saying, oh, didn't really want one. No, I just bought. Okay, well, it's common if she's a brat. That's what I You're think. You're so horrible. I'm horrible. Who rejected you the present? Do you realise there's going to be like thousands of people being like, "Oh yeah. my god, Fleur's so horrid." Domestic online. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mike bought me a new Kindle, which is really exciting. But the reason why I said I don't really need one is the fact that a it's expensive and it was a bit of an exact an, an extravagant gift for Easter, and b is that I just bought like six books. In book form. Old school. Old school books. I don't well, think anyone's going to be able to take this argument seriously with bunny ears on. But yeah. I got a new Kindle and I'm going to set it up today and I'm very excited but I may have to repurchase some of the books that I've already purchased in Kindle format. You don't have to. I don't have to tell you what. No, because the ones I bought in Kindle you can get on this, mm. but the ones I bought in paper. Uh, that's, that's not paper. Hope you guys are all having a lovely day. Yeah. See you Bye. later. Hey guys again! So we just got home from my mum's and we had the most epic meal. Um, we had a huge, huge roast with tons of chocolate and roastiness and pudding and custard. And let's just say my healthy eating plan went totally out of the window for the day. But that's okay because it's Easter. But I thought I'd show you some of our Easter eggs. Do you want to show your Easter eggs? Yeah, I do. Mike's... Why have you got the hoover? Are you cleaning it? Yeah. The cat peed on the hoover. I don't know which cat it was. It was one of you two. It was one of you. But it peed on the hoover and now every time you hoover it smells like cat pee so Mike's gonna clean the hoover. Nice. But from cat pee to chocolate, um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the chocolates that we got. So this is my little bowl. Um, first of all Spike got me this milky bar chocolate which I thought was really cute. My sister actually went shopping with him and let him pick um, all of the eggs for everybody and Mike got um you got a Hot Wheels one from Spike didn't you? I left that at, at your parents because I wanted to save it so I got some You never know when you might need some chocolate. And I also left the Hot Wheels there so. Have you? So you can play with them. <laughs> Spike came in first thing this morning he was so cute he was like Wubba Wubba <laughs> in my bedroom um, and then my auntie and uncle got me this Minnie Mouse chocolate egg which is a, basically just a mug with a chocolate egg in it which I really like because Obviously, everybody knows that I'm trying to eat a bit more healthily, so I think they bought me the small eggs, or not eggs, as um, my mum didn't get me eggs, but she did get me this, which is really bad, because this is a whole thing of mini eggs and marshmallows, which I don't like marshmallows. You like marshmallows, don't you? But mini eggs, oh my god, I'm such a sucker for mini eggs, and they look so yummy. But she put them in this um, really gorgeous silver kind of dish, which I'm actually going to use in my bathroom for my Lush stuff, which I think will look so nice, so I'm going to show you that later when I've done it. And then I also got bunny ears with my Milky Bar chocolate from Spike, which was cute. And I think that's it. My grandma also bought me um, a plant, which we forgot. Did we forget it? Uh, we... I think we left it at my mum's, so we'll have to get that at some point. It's just it's like a little hanging basket, which was nice. And what did you get? Well, from your auntie and uncle and cousins. Super, Super Mario. Mario. Worth no. You can tell. Uh oh. Busted. Busted. Who won? won. Stealing <laughs> So that's pretty cool. This is looks like Mario. Mario. There. Like that second. Then Flo got me. Wonder where she got ah, this. Ah, I wonder when from. I got that. Ferrero Rocher, the best. 
egg in the world. My brother loved his. He got really excited about it because yeah. he doesn't normally like Easter eggs. Your mum and dad. Minstrels? Does it come with three packs? I hope so. You're going to be a chubster. Mm, We're both going to be chubster. And then what's mom. in here? Ba, 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 ba. Look, no, can I just show them what your mum did? Because it was so cute. She stuck, she cut out like a bit of wrapping paper with bunnies on it and stuck it on the bag. Very nice, mother. I got a little bunny. Which I'm going to share because they're my favourite. Share? Share. What else did you get in there? Mini. Mini cream eggs. Whoopee. Second pack this week, huh? Woofy, no. Come on, there you go. You come back in the min. Come on. Oh, poor Woof. She All she eggs. wants is Easter eggs and cat biscuits. Yeah. Last have thing? Have this on. It's the last thing on camera. From my mother again. A surprise. Whoa, yummy. So. What's in the out. surprise? I'm gonna find out. I swear there used to be better prizes in the surprise. Woof! Come on, you know that's not for you. Come on. So. This is very surprising. It's going to be a surprise. Chocolate. We'll eat that later. I love kids like chocolate. Choc 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 Chocolate Spike calls it. <sighs> what is in there? There's a dirty pan in the sink. I can see that's not very nice. Nice. This is a surprise. We should have given this to Spee. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. That's all we got for Easter. I'm going to take this upstairs and show you guys. So much chocolate to be eating. Um, it's actually... I'm going to turn the camera around. It's actually really, really messy. What? What, what am I? Nothing. It's actually really, really messy um, upstairs because I've been attempting to kind of start packing for New York. Sorry, it's dark. I'm switching the light on. Um, so, excuse any mess that you might encounter in this video. But, what I'm going to do now, because the box that I keep my Lush stuff in at the moment, I don't have too much at the moment. I think I have, like, is it six things? I've been kind of getting through it. But it's what's weird as well, because I've left them in the sunlight. They're, they're fading a little bit. Um, so, maybe I should just put them in here straight. I don't know whether to put the kind of uh, shredding stuff in here, too. But I thought I could keep my Lush stuff in here and it would look all nice. Let me go out a bit. It's a bit zoomed in for you guys. This one. I'm going to have a bath tonight. I might use this one. It's the, is it the butter ball? The cocoa butter one? It smells really good. Yeah, because I've been using an old glossy box for it. I think that looks quite cute. I don't know whether it might look better with the stuffing. Stuffing stuff in it. And then I also, I've got a couple actually in here. I've got so many bath bombs, I'm just obsessed with bath stuff. I think, was that a fly? Oh, it was a spider. Ah! Okay. I've got a couple more in here, which I don't use because they're in the box. I've used a few of them. So I might put these in here too. I don't know which, they smell really good. They're from Bomb Cosmetics. And then I can get rid of another piece of packaging in my bathroom. Ah, oh, doesn't that look nice? I think that looks really nice. It goes really well in here as well because it's the same colours. And then I can get rid of these. And there is less clutter in my bathroom. Amazing. So I've been trying to pack for New York as well. I'll show you the mess I've been creating in here. Um, which, wait, that was the wrong light. We have these energy saving lights so it takes a while for them to kind of warm up and you can't see a blooming thing. That's not very useful, is it? What I might do as well, I just realised I haven't watched the latest episode of Vampire Diaries, so I'm going to download that now, watch it, have a bath, and then do a bit more packing, which you might be able to see behind me now. Can you see these? Mess, 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 and a suitcase. <laughs> so I will talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm just looking um, into watching the new Vampire Diaries episode and I realise there hasn't been one since the 29th of March and the next one is on the 19th of April. This seems crazy to me, like, if any of you guys know why they're on, or they seem to be on hiatus so much, can you tell me? Because it's really frustrating me because I really, really want to see the next episode. Um, that is pretty much it for now. Bye bye. It's a bit late now and I'm in my schmexy pajamas, as you can see. I actually just painted my nails like this. I don't know what you guys think about it. I was just watching 
um, the Rain Starnik or the current custom on YouTube. I've been catching up on loads and loads of YouTube videos, which has been cool. But she had her nails painted like odd, like this, but in pink and purple, and I thought it would look really cool in turquoise and pink, and I really like it. Um, if you're wondering, this is Nars. I can't remember the name. The new one from Nars from the Summer Collection, and this one is from Topshop. I'll put a link or a name in the info bar below. And look what Mike is doing. Um, what what's that you've got there? The Hoover. The Hoover. That looks quite different to what the Hoover looked like before. Um. What what what's happened, Mike, to the Hoover? I told everybody that the cat peed on it. Now Mike seems to think that he's hoovered up a cat pee. So the entire of the inside of the hoover smelt like cat pee. So Mike proceeded to take the entire hoover up. I have one issue as well. Look at all these little bits as well. You're never going to be able to put this back together. The problem is this fell out. Oh no, what's that? A screw thing. It's a spring. A spring. This fell on the floor with this silver piece. But I can't find where it goes in this. If Mr. Dyson is watching, by any chance. Any tips? Quick phone call, give us a Not I'm coming to buy another machine of yours tomorrow. <laughs> Basically, you decided it was beyond repair, didn't you? If, like, because you'd actually hoovered up the cat pee, it's the cat pee smell bad. was I mean, like. Even now. Like, it's everything smells. You bleached it, it smells like bleach in here. Whole. But everything, like the whole yeah, of the Hoover, smelled like cat pee, so there was nothing else we could do really. But uh, I'll let you know how that goes. I'm pretty sure we'll be having to buy a new Hoover. So my phone is really playing up now. It's kind of run out of um, storage, I think. So um, I'm gonna call it a night and try and sort my phone out because if you guys don't know, I vlog from my phone, which a lot of people have been asking about the quality in the comments recently. Um, I don't know if you guys like hate the fact that I vlog on my phone, but personally, I'm gonna go in here because the golf is on and it's kind of noisy. Um, personally, it's so much easier for me to vlog on my phone because I always have my phone with me. You can flip the camera so it can face you. Um, and I n never thought it was like a too much of an issue with the daily vlogs, like actually kind of vlogging on my phone. I don't know, let me know if it's a problem for you guys and I'll f switch back to my camera. But it's a little bit more kind of subtle as well when you're out and about to like take a phone out and film yourself because a lot of people like will stare at you like oh that's weird but that's part of being a vlogger so I mean I don't, oh my god I just tripped over my bag that's not very cool and my really unsexy starry pajamas are also not cool so I'm gonna go now but I will see you all tomorrow I hope you guys all had a great Easter and I'll see you later bye